On June 14, 1325, Ibn Battuta set out from his homeland of Morocco to make his Hajj, or traditional Islamic pilgrimage, to Mecca. The trip was the start of almost 30 years of travel for Ibn Battuta. He logged 75,000 miles and visited lands of every Muslim ruler at the time. It is still considered one of the greatest journeys in history. Ibn Battuta was born in Tangier, Morocco on February 24, 1304. He was from a family of legal scholars and he followed the same path to become a judge. After finishing his education, he yearned to know more about the world. And so, at the age of 21, he began his pilgrimage. He wrote, I set out alone, having neither fellow traveler in whose companionship I might find cheer, no caravan whose party I might join in, but swayed by an overmastering impulse within me and a desire long cherished in my bosom to visit these illustrious sanctuaries. Batuta traveled along the coast of North Africa, passing through the cities of Algiers, Tunisia, and Tripoli, as he made his way to Cairo and Alexandria in Egypt. He then continued onward and traveled through the holy cities of Hebron and Jerusalem on his way to Damascus, Syria. After a year and a half of traveling, he arrived in Mecca in October of 1326, a place he would return to several times during his travels. Ibn Battuta traveled through Iraq and Persia, and also explored East Africa by crossing the Red Sea. Upon hearing of work in the Sultan of Delhi's court, he set out for India, and eventually made his way there through Turkey and the mountains of Afghanistan in 1334. Delhi was under Muslim control, and the Sultan welcomed Muslim scholars from abroad, such as Ibn Battuta, to serve as judges on his court. Battuta ultimately stayed in Delhi eight years until he was appointed the Sultan's envoy to China in 1342. He traveled south to Calicut and the Maldives Islands before continuing on to China by way of Bangladesh. While Ibn Battuta was impressed by China, he did not care for it, writing, China was beautiful, but it did not please me. I stayed indoors most of the time and only went out when necessary. It took Ibn Battuta three years to travel home from China to Morocco, but he finally arrived in 1349. He had been gone 24 years and was now 45 years old. He didn't stay long, departing shortly after for southern Spain by crossing the Strait of Gibraltar, followed by a journey across the Sahara Desert to Mali in West Africa. After he returned to Morocco in 1354, a local sultan in Fez commissioned a young scholar to record Ibn Battuta's travel experiences. The resulting manuscript was called the Rilla, or the Journey. Ibn Battuta died in 1368 or 1369, but it wasn't until the 19th century that the Rella was found and translated. In it, he stated, I have indeed, praise be to God, attained my desire in this world, which was to travel through the earth, and I have attained this honor, which no ordinary person has attained.